Afternoon guys, in this video I'm going to talk about expected value and in part two I'll explain how it relates to sports betting. Let's start things off with the definition. Expected value is the probability weighted averages of all outcomes. The easiest way to explain this is with a practical example. Let's start with an event with two possible outcomes, the best example of which is just a coin toss. So you go to a fairground and there's a guy at a stool sitting there and he's offering to double your money if you correctly guess heads or tails uh, if you lose, he takes your money. Hardly the most exciting stall, but if the coin is fair, then you have a 50% chance of winning. When we write probability, 100% is represented as 1, so your 50% chance of winning is 0.5. So you have 0.5 chance of doubling your money and 0.5 chance of losing it. Let's say you want to bet £5. So the positive outcome is that you win back £10, but since you paid £5 to play, your overall profit is only 5 so you've got a 0.5 chance of plus 5. And then we've got the other outcome where you lose and he takes your money, so you've got a 0.5 chance of minus 5. It's easy to see that when we add up the outcomes, the expected value is 0. Now in reality, we can't get 0. The only outcomes are plus 5 or minus 5. And it's often the case that you can't get the exact expected value from playing a single game. If we were to play a thousand times, uh, the odds say that we should win 500 times and lose 500 times, and then we'll be back where we started. If you multiply the expected value of zero by a thousand games, you still get zero. Now our guy on the stall is feeling very charitable, and he's going to triple your money if you get it right, and take your money if you're wrong. So, same calculations as before, but this time you win £15, so it's going to be a £10 profit. So it's 0.5 times 10, which is 5, and 0.5 times minus 5, uh, which is minus 2.5. Add them together and you get 2.5. In other words, your expected value here is £2.50. Again, you can't win £2.50 from one play with a £5 bet, but for example, if you play 10 times, uh, then your expected value is 10 times £2.50, which is £25. That's because the odds dictate you should win 5. 5 times 10 is £50. Uh, and you should lose 5 times, 5 times 5 is 25, and the difference is 25 pounds. In reality, that might not happen. You might win 6 or 7, you might win 2, but it's about what the odds represent. In sports betting, we tend to talk in terms of units, so instead of thinking of the game as 5 pounds, we could think of it as a unit, and maybe 5 pounds could equal 5 units. So here's how that would work. He's offering to triple your money, and any money you put down is known as the stake. So if your stake is one unit, he's going to return three, but one was your original stake, so the profit is just two. So it's 0.5 times two, which is one, and then a 0.5 chance of losing your one stake, uh, which is going to be minus a half, so your expected value for this game is 0.5 units. Since your expected value is above zero, in the context of sports betting, we're going to call that expected profit. So to work out your expected profit uh, for a five pound bet, it's going to be 0.5 of the unit, so you're going to do 5 times 0.5, so your expected profit is £2.50. If you bet £20, your expected profit jumps to £10. Let's do one final example with a roll of a die, and this is more likely what you'll get at a fairground. So, uh, roll a 1, 3 or a 5 and you lose, 2 you get another go, uh, 4 is a small cuddly toy, and 6 is a big one. £5 to play. If it's a fair die, then you have a 1 in 6 chance of each outcome, which is represented in decimal form as 1 over 6, which is 0.1666 recurring. Now it's £5 to play, so if you roll a 2, it's almost like winning £5. You have to minus your original stake, so for a 2, it's going to be 0. Uh, 1, 3 and 5 are a straight loss, which is just minus 5. 4 and 6 are more complicated, and you'd have to know the value of a cuddly toy. Luckily, you've got your phone on you, you go on Amazon, and you find out that the small cuddly toys are worth £2, and the large cuddly toys are worth £8. If you pay £5 to win a £2 toy, you're effectively losing £3, so that's going to be minus 3. Uh, if you pay £5 for an £8 toy, you're up 3, so plus 3. You need to multiply each of the lines, and then add up all 6 outcomes. That gets you to minus 2.5 as your expected value, and since it's below 0, we could call it an expected loss. Now, your loss is the stall owner's gain, so he's going to be up 2.5 for every transaction. That means if people play four times every hour, he has an expected profit of £10 an hour. So that's your short introduction to expected value. 
Before you go, I'm going to show you one example of a famous betting strategy. So we'll go back to the original coin toss where he's going to double your money if you win and take your money if you lose. So you check your wallet and you've got £15 on you. So you go up to the stall, you're going to place £1 bet on tails and that turns out to be a loser. Next up, you're going to double it. So you're going to place £2 bet on tails again uh, and you lose again. Double it again, £4, third loss, very unlucky. Final time, £8, last bit of your money and you win. So you've got your losses of one, two and four, which puts you down seven pounds, but now you've won eight pounds. So you've now got a profit of one pound, which was your original stake. The chance of losing your first bet was 50% or 0.5 in terms of probability. To work out the odds of losing twice, it's 0.5 times 0.5, uh, which is 0.25. Third time, multiply again to get you to 0.125. And to lose four in a row is 0.0625. In other words, a 6.25% chance that you lose four times in a row. So the aim of this strategy is to stop playing as soon as you win. So we need to work out the odds of winning on the first, second, third or fourth attempt. Uh, because the odds of winning and losing are the same, you'll recognise these numbers. But you add them all together and you get 0.9375. In other words, you have a 93.75% chance of winning one pound. Now the expected value of the game is still zero. So your 0.9375 chance of winning a pound is, you guessed it, 0.9375. Uh, and although slim, your chances of losing four in a row would leave you 15 pounds down. 15 times 0.0625 gets you the same number. This is called the Martingale system and it's often used to bet on red or black at a roulette wheel. If you have enough money to double your bet seven times, then there's less than 1% chance of you losing. Trouble is, if you do lose, you lose big, and the wins are very small by comparison. So if your initial bet was going to be one unit, then you would need two to the power seven minus one units in your bankroll in order to bet seven times. That means if you were going to bet 10 pounds, you're only ever going to win 10 pounds, but if you happen to lose seven times, you're going to lose over a thousand pounds. Uh, that's everything for today. Join me in part two while I'll discuss how it relates to sports betting. Thanks for watching, guys.